What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. How we doing today, guys? Um, I just noticed something, and guys, before we get into the video, drop 10k in the comments, like the vid. So if you were new, guys, we're posting another MLB vid. Um, we got two Madden vids today, uh, MLB vid today. We're on the grind, streaming soon. I don't know when I'm streaming. I'm just trying to get some content out to you guys because I don't know, man. Streaming takes a long time, and honestly, I have no time with work and stuff. So, guys, YouTube, um, was good. And guys, as per usual, we're going over the market and we're going over the new Honus Wagner collection. And you know why we're going over it? Because I noticed something and I noticed why the market did not crash. Let's go over it. So as you can see, first off, okay, so the market did crash a little bit, but this is why it went up. So the market went up because of the Honus Wagner collection. And you know why? Because this is what happened. So honestly, it looks like a lot of people have been trying to do the Honus Wagner collection. And what I noticed is since people are trying to do this Honus Wagner collection, every single card in the game, like all these dudes, the rookie, the breakout, the all-stars, the veteran, all these sets, they all went up in price. I noticed it because my Jimmy Fox went about 10k. My Pete Alonzo went up about 10k. The Pedroia went up a ton. All of these cards have went up because of this Honus Wagner set. Now, this is what I'm scared of, though. So, what I'm going to tell you to do is invest right now. But, what I did so far. So, we're going to talk about how to make stubs right now and what to do. So, ready? If you remember my last bid, Bob Feller was at about 10... Let's say 108. He's at 117k now. Look at this. He's attacking. He is attacking. He's about 118k now. And what I want to say is that since he's 118k, he went up in price. You know who else went up in price? If you notice in my last vid, I invested in Haley Ramirez at about 50 something k. He is at 63k now. Um Pete Alonso is at 28k. So if I if you listen to me and you invested in all these hold up one second cuz I did not do so. Let's see, bugs right there. All right, so. That's a botch. There we go, so ready? We go live. Let's see how much the lives went down. So we got 70K, 24K, actually, all right, Freeman. Freeman, so yeah, everybody did go up a little bit. Francisco Lindor, yeah, everybody's starting to go up, and it's because you have for the Honus Wagner, you need to do all of these sets. Did we get Altuve? You need to do every set. So right now, what could happen is if there is a stub sale, any chance we could all be rich, which is very possible. But I think they might drop another sick pack if they drew do drop another sick pack. We could be very. Uh, and we could be in trouble, but I really don't think the market will crash too much because uh, of the Honus Wagner collection. And considering he, whatever happens, he'll probably, um, what's it called? He'll probably make the auction rise again, I guess you could say. Like, it might crash for a little bit, but then it'll rise right away just because of um, how much he impacts the game right now. You literally need to do every single collection to get him. So, with that said... Uh, is the Honus Wagner collection co co worth it? No, I don't think so. Like, really, he's not. Like, it's really just not worth it, in my opinion. But he is a beast card. He's very good. But is it worth dropping all that stubs? Like, he, team no money spent could never get the Honus Wagner. It's, like, really tough. He's really expensive. And I'm like, stop, bro. He's really expensive. And I just don't think it's worth it. So, right now... Um, what I recommend you to do is go invest in some things. I don't think MLB will drop anything Monday or Tuesday. Maybe they'll drop some headliners Tuesday. We've seen it before. Will they do it? Probably not. So I'm going to go ahead and say invest in some signature players because I don't see them dropping as much. And especially right here, this is a very good price gap for Joey Votto 99, which I will be entering on the price gap. And honestly, I kind of in the mood to play some MLB right now. I'm probably going to go grind out some games, play some games with my team. Um, not a bad price for Cal Ripken 99, not a bad price for the George Brett SIG. If you see all these SIGs, all these SIGs have very good price caps. So not only will you make stubs off them, regardless, you're going to make stubs like in the long run either way. 
So you could flip them or you could just make stuff off them right away. In my opinion, I like waiting because it literally takes no effort and time. So yeah. Um, Braun with this 44. This is a big ass price gap right here. I'm going to enter it. Hopefully we can get them. That would be a nice sellout right there. Make a quick like 5k, 6k clean. I mean 5 to 4, 6k clean. Um, let's see. Uh, Keith Hernandez is back at 20k. We did sell ours. If you guys invested in the Keith Hernandez at 14k, you made a ton of stubs. Um, pretty much, let's see. Brian McCann went up a lot too. I was actually looking at that card a second ago. Let's check his price. Lou Brock went up about 10k. Let's check. McCann is at 75k. Dude, McCann was at like 59k last week. He's at 75k. As you, and he just sold. Mine just sold. Um, I saw he was really expensive. I picked him up for cheap and I just made a ton of stubs off that. Also, I'm going to show you that Baez went up about 5k. Baez, 23,500 stubs. I told you guys to pick him up about 14k. He's at 23,500. If you have him now, go ahead and sell. Chris Bryant went up. Almost every card in the game has went up because of this Honus Wagner set. Um, and there's also only one pack in the game right now, which is awesome. But honestly, I feel like they might drop some headliners Tuesday. I'm not sure. If they do, expect a pack opening because I am ready to pop packs, man. I have so many stubs. I've been pulling absolute bosses. Um, I have a DeGrom to sell, which I'm probably going to sell now. But also, um, I want to talk about Jose Ramirez and the investment because, yo, he hit his fourth straight home run again. Uh, he has, yeah, look at that. So we invested in six of him at 2K. He's now at 4K. It looks like he's going diamond. This is probably the last chance you could grab him. Also, let's check stories price. Guys, it's roster update week. We're going to have roster update vid on uh, Wednesday, I believe. We're probably going to have about... We're going to have a ton of Madden videos and a ton of MLB content this week, guys. Just stay tuned for a ton of content. Keep coming. We're going to have some pack openings, especially on MLB pack openings. We have 12,000 points left on Madden. We're going to make a ton of stubs. Um, let's see. Let's see if we got Trevor Story. 3,600 for the story. Not bad. We got... So right now, um, Bob Feller, I feel like that might be his peak price unless they drop a stub sale. Lou Garrick at 99k. The 88k buy is not too bad. Um, Donald said 90k is not too bad. Let's see. What other SIGs we got? Cal... I feel like Cal Ripken is a very good buy. I feel like Ricky Henderson, no... Wagner's 66k is not a bad buy if you get him for that. But really, it just seems like right now it's just a good time to invest in some SIG cards. Unless they drop the pack again, which would kind of screw us. Um, Especially, looks like a lot of the SIG cards with gaps are the way to go. This is a very good uh, card to flip right here. We got um, 23.66 on Omar Vizquel. And we did just get that Vado. I'm going to go ahead and flip them right away. That's what I'm trying to do. Honestly, there's a lot of good flips right now. It's something like Vado's a really good flip. You're going to make about 3K clean off each flip. If you have the stubs to do it, at least. So 43,500 versus 40K. We're going to make about 3,500 clean. Let's see if that sells. Um, this is a good flip here. I mean, 10% 10, 10 of 115K, 15K. I mean, you'll make 5K off. It's a little risky. Um, let's see. But Troy is a really good flip right now. Let's try to get that if we have enough stubs to do so. If we could actually sell him for 58k, that's a fire flip. Uh, Braun at 44. Did we get it? 44.88. Mine's the cheapest and he's at 55k. That's also a good flip. Uh, Kluber. No, not a good flip. Oh, right here. This is a very good flip. About 10k flip. Maybe, no, more than that. Like 12k flip. Uh, Rod Carew's not a bad flip. We just sold Kirby Yates. Also, you have Kirby Yates. Just go ahead and sell him. He's actually really expensive right now. 97 Ozzy Smith's at 23K. We might get some gameplay with him, especially since he's a switch hitter. And look at that. We made a flip sale on Joey Votto. Um, let's go enter another one on that. If we can keep doing this, we'll make 9K, 2K, 9K, 3K, 4K. Let's just keep doing it, man. What is he, 48K still? This is perfect. We're going to keep doing this all day and just hope for the best, man. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a bunch of tips in this video, really. Honus Wagner collection, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more MLB content, Madden content, some 2K content in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.